Central Alabama woman back home today after visiting Israel. Thank you so much for joining us at six. I'm Ian Wright. And I'm Brittany Decker. Tiffany Johnson was part of a group from Daystar Church in Coleman who set out to visit the Holy Land for two weeks. Of course, that trip cut short. She and a community of others figuring out how to get back to the States safely. Yeah, WVTM 13's Erin Llewellyn joining us with the story of how she and others eventually made it home safely. Yeah, Brittany and Ian, Tiffany Johnson never thought she would find herself in the middle of a war. She and other members of her group taking cover in a bomb shelter, making sure they got out alive. We could hear the machine guns going off. We could hear the bombs. It almost became a white noise to hear the jets overhead because you never, it was never a silence. The sounds of war will stick with Tiffany Johnson forever. And that was the moment we realized we were actually seeing missiles being intercepted above our heads or being sent over. Johnson and 40 others from her Coleman church in the middle of war-torn Israel, relying on locals to keep them safe and get back to their families unharmed. In the midst of chaos, in the midst of something that's bigger than you know their lifetime, um, of even just the wars that they've been through, um, they just stayed real calm and just was a strong force for us. The trip scheduled to last two weeks cut in half. Our last night um, in Israel, we actually did um, have the sirens go off and we did go into the bomb shelter. Um, I think that was probably the first surreal moment for me. The group ushered into a bomb shelter for 30 minutes twice in one night. There's actually a setup for like a kid's station for them to have, you know, coloring books and, you know, a little playpen. And so that was the moment when I realized for me, this is my first time going into a bomb shelter, but this is also an everyday life thing for them. And while the group waited for the all clear, a white dove sat on the rafters of the shelter, a sign letting them know God was always with them. And I just pray for peace. I pray for a resolve and I pray that it comes quickly. Now Johnson's part of the group of Daystar Church and State Senator Garland Gudger helped get back to the United States. The church hosted a surprise welcome back party for her and others.